June 23, Sunday Solemnity of the Most Holy Body and Blood of Christ A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke Jesus spoke to the crowds about the kingdom of God and He healed those who needed to be cured. As the day was drawing to a close, the twelve approached Him and said, Dismiss the crowd so that they can go to the surrounding villages and farms and find lodging and provisions, for we are in a deserted place here. He said to them, Give them some food yourselves. They replied, Five loaves and two fish are all we have, unless we ourselves go and buy food for all these people. Now the men there numbered about five thousand. Then he said to his disciples, Have them sit down in groups of about fifty. They did so and made them all sit down. Then, taking the five loaves and the two fish, and looking up to heaven, he said the blessing over them, broke them, and gave them to the disciples to set before the crowd. They all ate and were satisfied, and when the leftover fragments were picked up, they filled twelve wicker baskets. The Gospel of the Lord Give them some food yourselves. What Jesus intends to be a quiet time between him and the disciples is disrupted by the crowds that trail them behind to Bethsaida. They follow him, bringing along their sick relatives. Jesus adjusts his plans and welcomes their circle people who are in need. The twelve do not imbibe Jesus' goodwill and generosity for the people. They suggest that Jesus send the crowd away. They do not want to get involved any further. By their reckoning, they have already done enough. Having healed the sick the whole day, Jesus has compassion for the people and asks the twelve to give them something to eat. The apostles find the situation impossible, but Jesus takes their very meager resources, five loaves and two fish, looks up to heaven, blesses and breaks them, and gives them to the disciples to set before the crowd. They all eat and are satisfied, with twelve baskets of leftovers gathered. Jesus will repeat his actions at the Last Supper, and this will be the basis for the Eucharist. Jesus emphasizes that sacrificial self-giving is more important than the quantity or material value of our offerings. God's miracles happen only when we are involved. Whatever small blessing we possess can be an instrument of God's miracle if put in the hands of Jesus. People often say that they do not have much to offer since they are poor. What Jesus does is meant to banish such illusion. For Him, each one of us is important, and if Jesus were to make present-day miracles, He would always involve the contribution of everyone. The Aitas of Shera Madre live by a wonderful adage, I have a half ganta of rice. Enough for so many, but not enough for one person. How true indeed is the saying that there is always enough for everybody's need, but never enough for everyone's greed.